Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Big Gold Belt movie review. Again, this is another movie review from the Chicago International Film Festival. This here is the best movie I've seen this year. Hard to say it. Out of all the movies I've seen this year, this is the best movie I've seen this year. And this one is called Better Man. And here's a quick synopsis. Better Man is based on the true story of the meteoric rise, dramatic fall, and a remarkable resurgence of British pop superstar Robbie Williams. And this one is directed by Michael Gracie. It literally stars uh, Robbie Williams also in it. And it stars Steve Pemberton and Alison Stedman. Now, here's the thing about Better Men. They kind of gave you at the film festival a uh, sneak peek behind as your first introduced to uh, Robbie and the director, Michael, introducing you to the film. And they let you know from the beginning, this film has a gimmick. And that gimmick is... As Michael said, during the, the process of making the film, Robbie said that he felt in his life like a chimpanzee, full of energy, just bouncing around everywhere humanly possible. So Michael decided to make Robbie a chimpanzee in this film. So throughout this entire film, Robbie Williams is being played by a CGI chimpanzee at different stages of his life. You got to you got to get grip of that first. And then after you get a grip of that, you have to have the understanding that this movie is going to be an emotional gut punch. As we go through the life of Robin Williams as first as we meet him as Robert Williams, which is his actual name and him as a little kid. Also, CGI chimpanzee, because that's him throughout this entire film here. And it's just a kid who feels he needs fame to be seen. And he feels that way because his dad, who is played by Steven in this film, always perp perpetrates that to him. You need, you need fame. You need other people to validate who you are. And we see that's something that Robbie fights with throughout his entire life of this film. This film does an amazing job at not sugarcoating who the person that Robbie Williams was. And again, this partially why this is possibly also the best music um, biography made in recent memory. And we know how many have been made in recent memory, but this is probably the best in recent memory made because it holds nothing back. As when you, when you go through exactly everything for Robbie from his tryout for the boy band uh, Take That that he was a part of, and the drugs, the drinking, the uh, everything humanly possible that we've known about Robbie Williams is shown in this film. Granted, he's a chimpanzee in most of the film. <laughs> he's a chimpanzee throughout this entire film. But they show everything and they hold nothing back. And it's so much accountability from Robbie Williams in this biopic that it can blow you away. Because he's very adamant and very clear that he was depressed at an extremely young age when he got fame. When he became famous as a teenager, he was depressed. And he did not deal with that depression until 20 plus years into his career. It feels like the way the film just does everything. It feels like he was deep into his fame, deep into his career, deep into one of the biggest record deals humanly possible when he signed it. And he was still high doing drugs out of his mind, humanly possible. But this film does a great job at grounding exactly who Robbie Williams is. As we understood, we understand from the film all the pressures that his dad put on him. But we also understand the unconditional love he received from his grandmother and his mother. And those scenes are so touching and heartwarming. It can really break you while you're watching this film. Because it they revert right back to those moments whenever it's deemed necessary where the character is just too off of the wall. And that, that's a brilliant choice by the director to do that. Because again, you have to embrace the silly up front of this film that it's a CGI chimpanzee in this entire movie. But I want to say maybe 20 minutes into it, you kind of forget that is a chimpanzee, and you're left with the emotional toll that this journey takes with Robbie Williams. This is one of the most interesting stories humanly possible. 
And I think with him being a megastar that he is, but not being a megastar in the U.S., I think it leaves so much room open to really play with the purpose of this film. And I think that's where the chimpanzee comes into it, is if Robbie Williams was as well known in the U.S. as he is in the U.K., I don't think you can do that. But here you can do that because he's possibly not, and he's just known as a wild man. That's what people know him as. And here you get to see the heart of that wild man. We get to understand that the drugs and the drinking was because he was depressed and couldn't deal with the pressure of being famous, even though being famous is what he always wanted. And it's a line in this movie, and it's said a couple of times of being, be very careful what you wish for, because it might come true. And when it came true for Robbie, he just wasn't equipped to deal with it. We also get to see his relationships throughout the course of the music industry. We understand what they are. If you don't understand what they are, look them up. It's Robbie Williams. <laughs> we get to see that. We we get to see his relationship with his bandmates of, of Take That. We get to see what happens when he got kicked out of that group and how he had to recover and how his competitive spirit pushed him past the drug use, past the drinking, because he just had to be great because he always knew he would be great. And again, that's another point of this film is that we get to see him strive for excellence we get to see the door be slammed in front of his face we get to see the depression kicked in we get to see everything humanly possible that would be the downfall of robbie williams but instead we get in the end we get to see him come out of it and that's what makes this movie so fascinating to have so much heart now why is my favorite film of the year and it's directed beautifully cinematography is amazing in this film the performances including robbie's as the cgi monkey great the gimmick of it being a CGI monkey, while you do forget that it is a CGI monkey in the film because of the heart and because of the emotional resonance of the film, it is still a distraction. If this was possibly played by a person, this would be the best film of the year for everybody. I don't think it's a doubt in my mind. This story is award season bait 101. And it is executed so well by Michael, the director here. I, I This movie is brilliant. But the CGI monkey can take you out of this film. At times where you need the character to emote the emotion necessarily to push the story forward. It's a CGI monkey. And while the monkey does an amazing job at, at, at giving you that display of emotion, at times you realize, oh, but that's a monkey. And it can take you out of it a little bit here. So that gimmick, which is understandable why you did it, and in certain scenes it makes sense for it, but nonetheless, it's something that, that stops this movie from being the best movie of the year for everyone. Well, it is the best for me because I can separate the CGI monkey from the rest of the film. It's going to be a lot of people that, that they're just going to have a problem with that. And I fully understand it. And I fully understand that it's going to take you out of it. But if you just sit back for the story of it, this story is amazing. It is an emotional gut punch throughout this entire film. And you feel so much sympathy for... Robbie Williams because you now understand fully why he is who he is. Like if you did if you don't know Rob, Robbie's very brash. He has absolutely no issue telling you I'm the best entertainer in the world. Hands down, like no one's better than me. But when you're watching this film, you understand that that ego is protection because he's so vulnerable. Like it's it's an ongoing gimmick of this film. Of while he's performing, he sees himself in the audience booing him or attempting to take him down or tell him he's not worthy of what he has garnered the fame and success. And that's because he doesn't believe that he's earned the fame and success. No matter how much hard work they show him doing in this film, he never understands. Like, I actually worked for this and it wasn't given to me. And because of that, it humanizes the character so much that it makes this film just skyrocket to the top. 
So, Betterman, and brought to you from the Chicago International Film Festival. This release is, I want to say next month or early December, it's going to release in select theaters before it goes nationwide for everyone to check it out. Out of a possible A to F scale, I give Better Man an A+. This is the best movie I've seen this year. Nothing compares to this film to me. It The emotional gut punch to this movie is cannot be matched by another film. Again, if it wasn't for the CGI monkey in this film, <laughs> I think this would be everyone's best film of the year. Because you can't deny the direction of it. Even the musical breaks of it. Again, this is a biopic of a musician. They do musical breaks in this film. But all of the musical breaks make sense. Because the musical breaks in the film display the emotion that Robbie's feeling at those moments. Like, they do a great job of marrying his music to his emotions in this film. That really makes it work. And then when there's no music playing, the performances are just good great even throughout this entire film it's so much to build upon and you would just hope that moving forward um these musical biopics take everything great about better men and put in their films to understand they don't have to be formulaic you don't have to hide your issues here again robbie does an amazing job of not hiding anything he's freebasing in this movie like it's just so much stuff they show here to let you understand just how much he attempted to escape the fame he always wanted and just the pitfalls that come along with getting exactly what you wish for but again check it out when it comes out and let us know what you think this has been another big old belt movie review peace people Thank you. Thank you.